Wednesday again, and my name is Dr. Myra. And I'm Miss Alyssa. And we're going to do a role play today on when a girl gets in trouble, what to do. All right, so hold on just a second. Let's get started. <laughs> uh oh. What happened here? It says that you got suspended for something that happened on the bus. What happened? I didn't do anything. Ooh. The bus driver didn't see anything. I don't know what he's talking about. Hmm. Well, it says here that another girl started crying and uh, said that you said some very hurtful words. What do you think she, do you think she's not telling the truth? She's being you? so dramatic. That's not what happened. She said that you called her these words. What are these words? Stupid head McGee. She was in my spot. She was next to my friend. My friend, not her friend. That was my spot. She knows that. We've had this conversation before. Oh boy. Um, has, has anything ever happened like this at home to where, or at school, to where you have felt like you're very angry? You definitely look angry to me. Well, yeah, because she lied to the bus driver. Well, today at school, I didn't get picked until last for the dodgeball game. Aww. And at, my mom yelled at me this morning because I wasn't getting dressed fast enough. Sorry. And I might have not have gotten enough sleep because my sister was crying all night and we share a room. Oh dear. Well, that's a lot. May I show you what happens when you have a lot of emotions? building up inside of your body. Can I show you, please? Okay. All right, so let's just assume, or just pretend, that this pot is your body, like from here to here. Okay. And every time you get upset, mad, sad, angry, tired, even hungry, mm -hmm. Let me remember what you said now. You said that you didn't get enough sleep last night, right? Yeah. That's one emotion. You said that you got picked last today at school, right? Yeah. That must have hurt your feelings. Yeah. And then you got yelled at at home? Yeah, my mom yelled at me. And then what happened is you got on the bus and you put a lid on it. But where did all those strong emotions go? They're still in there. Right. So what do you think would happen if you kept putting in strong emotions and sad emotions and angry emotions day after day after day? What do you think would eventually happen to this pup? It would probably get full. Exactly. And it might even explode. So what really happened to you is you were feeling all these emotions. You didn't talk about it or get it out. So you took it out on your friend in some hurtful words. May I show you some other ways to do that, other than saying some hurtful words to your friends? Sure. I'm going to teach you some sign language. Okay. What's sign language? Sign language is for um, people who cannot hear. And believe it or not, I used to teach deaf children years ago. So I'm going to teach you some signs. Okay. First thing you need to do is watch my eyes. See how much time that took? That's called a nanosecond. You have that much time to catch yourself before you say some hurtful words and which is just a blink so what you do is you quickly snap you got a scrunchie snap that scrunchie to remind yourself quick to do something different than hurt somebody stop go to your heart slow your body down by breathing a couple times deep breaths it's called mindfulness deep breaths there you go a couple more that's it and then here comes some signs ask yourself the hunk uh, acronym which means are your words helpful there you go and then you have your index finger that you write with like a hook go down are they necessary and are your words kind let's do them again okay first snap your wrist quick to remind yourself don't hurt with words okay stop talking stop drop to your heart breathe to slow your body down deep breaths that's it that's it. Letting it out really slowly, really slows you down. Try it again. That's it. Much better. 
one more time. And now the hunk, which is, are my words helpful? Helpful. Mm -hmm. Necessary? Necessary. And kind? Kind. There you go. And were your words necessary or kind? No. All right. So now you learned why you did what you did, but now how do we repair what happened to the other girl? Because where is she right now, do you think? She's probably eating snack. Probably in my spot. So how about if we call the front desk and have her come in here and you apologize? Because that's how you fix what happened. Now that's not easy, but I know you're strong, smart, and bold. So let me give you how to do that. Okay. First of all, you're gonna make another, uh, two more signs. You're gonna make an S, which is instead of hurting someone with your fist, you're gonna go over your heart, which means sorry. But you gotta mean it. Like the look on your face doesn't mean right now that you're sorry. You're gonna have to really mean it. That's it, breathe again. Sorry, now you finish your sentence. What are you sorry for? I'm sorry for calling her a stupid head monkey. Okay, so can you say the words? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For calling you hurtful names. For calling you hurtful names. Then you're gonna ask her to please forgive you. By the way, this is please. And then erase, this means Forgive. Three times. Forgive me. But you gotta mean it. Otherwise, you don't fix her and you don't fix you. Okay. Got it? Got it. Okay. You go get her and let's, I wanna watch what happens. All right? Okay. All right.